Hi friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, I am going to train you on how to create a custom WordPress pop-up. So let's say if you want visitors to see a certain message on your website, you can easily inculcate it with, with the help of a pop-up. So first of all, I'll just go to the add plugins on the right hand side, you know, plugins under that add new. There I will search for pop-up builder. Now there are many plugins which are available to do this, but my personal favorite is the pop-up builder. I just click on install. And then I'll activate this plugin. Once the plugin is activated, on the right hand side, you can see a tab which has added, pop-up builder. This is something which you can find between the media tab and the pages tab. So here, I'll just go to all pop-ups. Now there are no pop-ups which are there currently. So I'll just click on add new. Once you click on add new, there are more, uh, there are these four types of main pop-ups that you can create. One is an image pop-up, one is a HTML pop-up, you can have a Facebook pop-up and a, subscribe, a subscription pop-up as well. If you want more extensions, you can just click on get more extensions, which will take you to more paid, uh, you know, options which uh, this plugin provides. For example, the PDF pop-up, MailChimp pop-up, advanced targeting pop-up, and uh, they are at a quite reasonable rate. For example, this is for $12 if you want it to be advanced targeting pop-up, etc. In this case, we will just look at the free version of this, which really works well in my case. I'll click on add image. So let's create an image pop-up which is there. And here I can give it a title, maybe, you know, simple notice. If you have installed Yoast SEO, you will be seeing this option which is there, which can easily be uh, minimized. And here I can select the image which I want to come as a pop-up. Do let me know in the comments if you want me to help you design an image. So that is something which I can show in the following video as well. So I'll just browse the image. And I can pick up this image, which I've already created. and I can just choose this image. Now there are some important display rules that you can play around with. For example, display everywhere or do you want to display it on all posts, selected post or on a specific category, post category. So let's select post category in this case. So I want this post to be displayed on all the categories of uh, let's say categories which are related to CA final. So I'll just select this category and the post is CA final. So here if the category is CA final then only this pop-up will be displayed otherwise this will not be displayed. I'll just publish this. And now let's say if I open any of the article which is related to that category, it will show me this pop-up. Now there is one problem with the image pop-up. You don't have any click to action with it. In these case, what I will recommend is if you want the person to be able to take some action on the image, you can add a HTML 
pop up. So let me just move this one to trash. So I'll just move this pop up to trash and I'll add a new pop up here. I'll just click on add new. I'll select an HTML pop up in this case. When I do that, you can see you are getting a complete WordPress editor here, the WordPress classic editor. Now you may have to install the classic editor, which I personally recommend if you are a blogger uh, and uh, you know, it's very useful. So in this case, let me just uh, give it again, uh, maybe like, you know, WordPress tutorial. What I'll do is I'll click on add media. I'll add the same image again. This time I can align it also and now I can give a link to it also. So let me just give a link to the home page. And now I can publish this specific post. Now let's say if I refresh this page again. I get this same pop up. You can uh, you can change the size. The size is big, so I have to scroll down. Now, when I click on it, it takes me to the home page. If you see, the URL has changed to home page. Now, what I can do is I can just quickly resize this, okay, to make it a bit smaller, to make it look good. And now I'll just update this. And let me also disable this. I, I don't want it to be on the home page. I just want it to be on all the post pages so that when we click on it, we understand that it's not going on the home page. Also, you've got more options here. Uh, like if you want to select a specific country, other conditions like devices, user status, role, etc. You can do that, but all that comes with a uh, Featured plugin. So you will have to purchase the featured plugin to do that. So I'll just update this. And now, if I just go back to one of the blog articles or categories, okay, the size has reduced. So if you just click on it, it comes back to the home page. Okay, you can also embed YouTube videos on it. So you can, uh, you know, just uh, uh, go to the code editor and uh, let me just give you a sample. I just go to YouTube. Okay, let me just go to YouTube. Uh, let me just open any of these videos which is there. Uh, maybe this song will do. Good grammar and spelling. And uh, here I'll just click on share. I'll click on embed. And I'll copy paste this iframe. I'll go back here. Go back to the text option which is there. And uh, let me just see if it looks good. Yeah, it's looking good. I'll just go on the update option. And now when we refresh this, we get the video as a pop-up. So you have, uh, you know, complete option uh, when you're using this plugin. You can upload an image. You can do a clickable image. You can also embed one of the important videos uh, as a pop-up which is there. So guys, I hope you like this video and you learned something new. Definitely please uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have learned something new today.